Julie Ehrman says that her Android-based video game console, Ouya, will return game development to the freewheeling days of the Apple IIe. What are, you, what are your thoughts on Ouya? Did Julie say that? In the Kickstarter video, she specifically said, back in the old days, anybody could write a game for their Apple IIe. We wow. want to go back to that. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, you can do that on an iPhone or an Android right now. But um, So what do I think about the Ouya platform? OK, well. <laughs> How long do we have? <laughs> so so I was I was going to meet with Julie at E3, but I you know had a lot of stuff to do, and I didn't I didn't meet with her about that platform because we've been emailing back and forth. Um, and the thing about the Ouya, I think, is I think it's it's I think it's cool that they're making a platform. Of course, I, I think that's that's a neat thing, but it's not really the answer that's that's coming from Apple uh, about consoles and like what what's the next gen of consoles. Um, the Ouya is based on Android, which is just a piracy platform, so you need to <laughs> basically make a microtrans game to make any money on it, or fill it full of ads. So, you know, they're, they're, they're planning on keeping it open as well, so they're not going to say, oh, it's Android, we're going to close it, and you guys will make money in a curated, you know, ecosystem. <coughs> it's totally open, so have fun making money. Um, it's, more, it's more like the Eurozi platform, which was like a PSX platform that people could write PlayStation games for back in the in 95, 96. Um, so uh, I don't know how people are going to make money on it. And I think it's a neat idea, but you know, if you use an iPhone right now, you can do airplane mirroring, which does the same thing off your iPhone. It mirrors it to your, to your screen. So the big thing for them is Android connected to TV, and now here's a game system. And it's like, well, Apple connected to <laughs> Apple TV. Um, uh, is already going on. That's that's not something that's that's you know uh, like the next gen. That's like current gen. The next gen thing is Apple's Apple TV that's coming out that has a whole computer built into it that basically you download all your games right into the TV and start playing them from your controller. And that's coming out probably later this year. So um, the next step that Sony and Microsoft uh, and Nintendo have not have not moved into is where Apple's moving directly into, which is your TV is your console. You don't need another box to hook up to it, and you can download all your apps and everything. Just like you know, it'll probably have the same iPad 3 hardware in it, um, and uh, you'll just be controlling it from your pad or your your phone or any other device that that has their um, their the protocol that can talk from peripherals to the to the device itself, like the way that iPhones control speaker systems and stuff like that. That protocol, um, so. That's coming out soon. So for me, I don't see a reason for even having the Ouya because anybody can program an iPhone, and why would you like? There's two platforms. One makes money. One is still very programmable, um, like the Apple II, <laughs> and then the other one is Android, which is a piracy platform, and you're not doing anything new with it. You're connecting, a, you know, you're, you're making a bigger phone that connects to your TV. So to me, it was not. It's not worth the. It's not worth it. So you don't find Apple's walled garden to be an obstacle to game development? No way. It doesn't stop anybody from making games. <coughs> Everybody can make games on an iPhone. It's you know, Xcode's free. It's a hundred bucks to get your your game on the App Store because you have to be a developer. But um, other than that, it's you know, programming on a Mac and you're putting it on an iPhone and I mean if you programmed uh, for the mobile if you program in mobile at all, like I, I started a wireless company back in 2001, and I programmed everything from the J2ME garbage to better brew type <laughs> stuff, and engage and all that stuff. Um, and and you know, there's a you 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 have to use a PC to program it, and then when you get on the device, it blows up because there's no simulator that actually runs like the device, and so then you have to debug. You know, oh, the ARM chip can't fetch data on odd. It's addresses, you know, like <laughs> why would it compile it to odd addresses? I don't know, but it did, and now it blows up. So, you know, all these stupid hardware things come out, and, and now with the, you know, with the programming games for the iOS, it runs in an emulator or a simulator they call it for the iPad and the iPhone. It runs perfectly, and you put it on the device, and it runs perfectly. That whole the world of you know, of of mobile development is nothing like the iPhone uh, development, which is super smooth. And so I just don't see why anybody would want to go off of the iOS platform when the world is like a crazy jungle outside of it. 